Hi Capricorn, welcome to this reading. You might find it resonates more though if this is your um, moon or rising sign, but let's see. So we have the two of wands. So clearly your person knows there's a decision to be made. They can continue as they are uh, moving forward with this third party or they can, you know, change lane and move forward towards you. I always feel with the two of wands, you know, we know, we know what choice we want to make. We're the life that we're currently living. The things we're doing are a little bit boring or they just don't resonate with us anymore. But at the same time, making a change feels huge. Um, and we might feel like we're not quite ready yet. See, look, King of Pentacles in the reverse. So, um, you know, if you're wondering, well, what does my person really think and feel about this other person? Maybe they've told you, you know, I'm making a change. They mean that if that's what they said. They absolutely want to shake off um, any responsibilities they have in this connection. With the King of Pentacles, it looks like it could be something that's quite established. It, you know, it's not someone, you know, that they're just dating or something. It could be a marriage. It could be a long term relationship. There could be children involved, finances that have been you know, shared finances or maybe your person's invested financially over a period of time here. Okay, what else is going on, please? We have the Page of Swords. There could be a child, maybe an air sign child, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius involved. Um, I kind of feel what's happening there is your person is, um, is keeping an eye on you unbeknownst to this other person, you know, obviously, unbeknownst to this third party. Um, yeah, Queen of Wands in reverse, definitely. <clears throat> Your person feels like, ooh, they're a bit stuck. Now, we're never really stuck. It might just be that the decision we have to make is difficult. As I said, you know, with this two of wands coming out um, first, it's very much on your person's mind. Do I, don't I? Do I go left or right? I know what I want to do. Am I ready to do this? So it seems like for now they are stagnating a little bit. And I say stagnating because the King of Pentacles is reversed. They're doing something participating in something, putting effort into something that they just don't want anymore. Whereas at the same time, they are, they're learning about you, gathering information, watching you, actually feeling that you may be pulling away or creating some distance. Now you may or may not be doing this. It could just be their perception of things. For example, they could be feeling, well, I'm taking quite some time to make this transition. So logically if the roles were flipped and i was waiting i might start pull, i might have started to pull away but um whether you're a fire sign or not they see you as this queen of wands this is the energy of someone who is very alluring very attractive um you know, physically, but also because of their energy, how they show up, their confidence, their warmth with other people as well. Um, but she's showing up in the reverse here. So this, you know, this, it's a queen, but you could be a woman or a man watching this. Um, yeah, so your person is watching you invest in yourself, maybe take back some of your confidence, your personal power. If you feel that your confidence has been knocked within this situation, or you, it's just sort of slowly been diminishing because you've been waiting or something like that, um, your person is seeing you reinvesting in yourself okay what's going on please with this third party situation nine of pentacles reversed yeah so this is a card of being free independent single being able to take care of things on your own so for some of you your person could be feeling like one of the reasons they are still in this third party situation is because of finances practicality um worrying or wondering can i be you know, can I thrive on my own? Maybe they've always leaned on someone else for a home or finances, or they have felt that's the only way to have security is in a relationship or something like that. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Okay, wow. So your person's becoming very cross, actually, very angry underneath. Um, there could be outright arguments, especially if we see something like the Five of Swords or the Five of Wands with this other person. But at the very least, What's going on in this third party situation? I feel it's kind of cold. I feel your person is, is harboring a lot of bitterness and resentment. They could be projecting this onto the third party. Maybe in some cases that's perfectly justified, but I kind of feel a lot of this is their internal frustration with themselves because they want to make this transition and this change and they're feeling like too much time is passing and um, they're starting to feel, I guess, angry, frustrated, a bit disempowered. Um, and maybe they're sort of taking it out on this other person. But this is um, the Knight of Swords is not really particularly, you know, loving, caring. Yeah, look at this. Ten of Wands. Mm. 
We have the Fool. Yeah, they want this new beginning with you. We have Aries and Aquarius. We have the Ten of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles reversed. It's very clear in your person's mind which decision they want to make, what action they want to take here. It's about do they have the courage? Do they have the resources? Do they believe in themselves enough? Um, your person does want a fresh beginning with you, but at the same time they're saying, I'm already in my head. I'm planning way ahead. I don't want the opportunity to go on a date with you. I don't want the opportunity to be friends. I want full-blown lifelong commitment here with the ten of pentacles you know this can can be um living together merging families having a family getting married you know whatever your person envisions as being sort of the the highest level of commitment that they can possibly offer and receive that's what they want here um and yeah the two of pentacles is reversed there's no confusion there's no question it's just about can i do it when should i do it um let's go back to this because this is where the doubt is and it's not doubt about you, it's doubt about, you know, themselves. I think as well, they have been watching you, they have been gathering information quietly um, or asking people about you or thinking about you, maybe even researching stuff I'm hearing on the internet to do with um, connections, perhaps wondering why they have such intense feelings, what could it mean, that sort of thing. Um, but it's becoming a burden, it's becoming heavy because I think, you know, your person feels it's time now to make that decision to to actually take action. They don't want to just watch behind the scenes or gather information behind the scenes. So let's have a look at this two of ones thing here. Yeah, see, four of cups. Your person's very dissatisfied with everything in front of them. And at the same time, they know there's an opportunity that's more exciting, more fulfilling, um, more in line with, with what they actually want for themselves. But we also know that the four of cups can sometimes be a person not reaching for that opportunity. Um, so I think your person's becoming very frustrated with themselves. We have the five of pentacles on the back. So, you, you know, your person is missing you. So within this third party, they don't feel maybe seen. They don't really feel connected to this person. They could be spending every second of every day with this other person, but um, your person is still feeling lonely, um, distant, maybe misunderstood. Okay, let's have a look at this Knight of Swords, King of Pentacles reverse. There could even be arguments. Um, maybe this third party is saying to your person, you don't do enough, or you stop doing this. Why don't you care about that? Um... Yeah, Four of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. Okay. For some of you, there could even have been conversations between your person and this other person about letting this relationship, this situation go, about separation. Um, let's see. What else? Yeah, look, Five of Pentacles. It's back. So maybe there have been conversations, sometimes perhaps, you know, idle threats. You know how in an unhealthy relationship, um, if people are arguing every time one or both people might just throw out, well, maybe we should just get divorced. Maybe we should just call it quits and walk away. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Um, well, yes, you probably should, but they don't, you know, and they keep having the same argument. Um, that could have happened. It could also have been that they've discussed, maybe, maybe we should separate, but then it's been like, okay, but what about the house? What about um, finances? The magician. Yeah, do you know, I read and strength on the back. I'm not, I, I don't, I'm not seeing that there's been like actual violence here, but you see how this person's about to sort of like weirdly hit this line on the head with this cup here. I think there's been that level of frustration within these arguments, these conversations, depending on whether they've been arguments or conversations. And I actually feel that, that someone here, I think it's your person's person, has been saying to your person perhaps, well, if you're so unhappy, why don't you leave? Or unless you start doing this or that, I'm going to kick you out or I'm going to leave. And your person maybe has been biting their tongue, but actually thinking that would be great if you could please leave, you know? Um, because the magician is a very powerful energy, but the magician's being quiet here behind this four of pentacles, five of pentacles. Five of pentacles is, is a lack. So this person you're, that your person's connected with kind of is underestimating your person and their intentions, their feelings, what they're doing behind the scenes. Let's have more of a look at this magician. We have um, Gemini energy here. Almost like this other person 
is one is you know one day going to say to your person fine why don't you just leave and then your person's going to say okay yes that, that's a good idea because what they've been doing behind the scenes is preparing themselves maybe saving up money or doing some inner work you know affirming to themselves that they are worthy or they are strong or something so at some point your person is going to be ready to actually um you know call this other person's bluff in a way i guess okay the magician please what can you tell us here so my viewers person what's going on with this magician card yeah look the hermit in reverse virgo energy but your person is busy doing this inner work learning becoming wise figuring out whatever they need to figure out and there's going to be a moment in time when they actually say yes um i will make this transition i will leave or i think you should i think you should leave and not come back to this other person and i don't know that this person will be expecting it okay Whew. so um let's have a look <laughs> at these cards um these are great cards and i'm just again i'm laughing because um i just feel like some of you are like please don't read from the book it's so boring but i have to it's got good stuff it might be helpful and i don't know these well enough to um to not read from the book okay so what message please spirit so my viewers, persons, third party situation. What's the final message here? Sacred wisdom. Wow. Okay, so this is the image on the card. Um, let's see what the book says. And it's interesting, that card was on the back of the deck as I picked up, um, as I picked the deck up to shuffle it. Um, which makes me feel 62 but there is something here where your person is is going on this journey finding to find this sacred wisdom but what they're going to figure out is is perhaps wisdom they've had all along but they weren't seeing you know something like that okay so it says think carefully consider all options in your life uh, in your life transitions it's the number 28 wow so 10 completion um owls are deep and intense message bringers encouraging you to connect with your inner visionary the white owl shares wisdom with those who respect traditional processes protectors and knowledge keepers these sage spirit animals offer you guidance and safeguard your spiritual work intuitive information and messages alike will always arrive with divine delivery and no sooner don't push okay so so far this is interesting with that king of pentacles in reverse for some of you your person may have these really strict beliefs with themselves that they've held on to about how they should show up in relationships and how they should be self-sacrificing you know being responsible all of that and they may have been struggling to understand how can i feel these things you know outside of this connection this relationship or situation here that doesn't align with the person I thought I was. I didn't expect this. Or how can I leave this situation and still feel like I'm responsible? You know, that, that kind of thing. Um, acknowledging change, the wise owl asks you to think carefully about how you approach life transitions. Look beyond what is physically in front of you. More about your gifts and natural talents will be revealed to you when you remove the expectation of receiving certain results. Right now, honour your inner god or goddess. Return to natural cycles and all that you are. Delve deep into your being to access powerful base energies that resonate with your heart and instincts. Honour the divine feminine and divine masculine that reside within your spirit. Keep your focus and direction on the present day or time will slip away into the abyss. Ideas will soon pass on to others if you continue to ignore spirit's messages. Lunar phases will affect you now. Be mindful in your methods with others and listen to your inner voice. Past life in past life influences will arise now deep attractions or a sense of knowing or kinship will make themselves known in abrupt ways listen to these messages they bring you karmic lessons that will strengthen your soul by embracing your connections to the past you can empower your future self with knowledge and positive energy sleep patterns are a primary focus now ensure you are getting enough sleep pay attention to your dreams hidden messages and meanings will assist you in your waking life Journal your reflections to help you interpret this subconscious communication. Okay, so take what resonates um, or what stands out to you from that. For me, it's um, your person 
really having to dig deep and see things in a different way to release um, perceptions they've held on to about themselves, things, other people, situations, um, and no longer ignoring, you know, this divine offering that, that's being given to them. Um, I think this frustration with the Knight of Swords that they're feeling is for getting them, trying to get them to move, to take action, letting them know something is dissatisfying for them. And I think it's that they have been sacrificing themselves over and over. Um, you know, every day that they're showing up in this relationship or this situation here, they're sacrificing themselves, their happiness, their needs. Um, and I think, you know, it's like their inner self is getting tired of this and saying it's, it's enough. Okay, so this, I'm going to leave it here for this first part. So if there's a romantic third party. So um, if you're wondering as well as a person about a, a parent, friends, possibly an addiction, um, money, work, that sort of thing, then I'll be looking at those things in the second half as well. Otherwise, I hope this helped and um, thank you so much for being here. Okay, so part two. So this is if there's a third party um, situation that isn't a romantic person, a romantic partner. For some of you, it could be your person's mother here with the Empress coming out and the Four of Wands. If it's not the mother, it could be someone with strong feminine energy who has been um, a real influence in your person's life, maybe as they were growing up and still into the current moment. Um, Someone who your person has perceived as having been nurturing and um, and loving, which I suppose is why this person, their opinions would hold a lot of sway with your person, because they feel that this person has always wanted the best for them. OK, so Spirit, what can you share with my viewers, please, um, about this third party? OK, we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse for this third party person or situation, so non-romantic. Justice, Libra energy, two of wands in the reverse. Page of cups in the reverse. Yeah, for some of you, there's something going on here with your person from childhood or something to do with their inner voice, their inner child here. Seven of cups. Um, the message is coming through that the thing your person wanted, this is there's something about the past, that the thing they wanted in the past was the one thing they didn't they didn't reach for. Uh, so I think it's you. I think it's this this connection. Um, something here to do with with self worth. It's almost like let's say I'm going somewhere and I have a choice of two dresses. One is clearly the most flattering, looks great, makes me feel wonderful. But I know I'm going to get so much more attention in that dress than my other option. And the other option is still nice. It's perfectly fine. So I choose the second one because I something about all of that attention makes me feel uncomfortable. Maybe something to do with my my self-worth. You know, do I deserve all of that? Should I go for the thing I really want? No, I'm, I'm going to go for the, the second option. So I don't know if your person growing up was shown or told um Stop being, stop being such a drama queen. Stop being such a drama king. I know no one says king, but, you know, equality. Um, sit down, you know, um, stop trying to be the centre of attention. Or maybe they witness their parents um, How can I explain it? So let's say their parents grew up feeling like they didn't have nice things. They didn't deserve nice things. That continued into adulthood um, or witnessed their parents sort of talking negatively about themselves. Your person could have um, absorbed all of this and, you know, felt this about themselves, whether it was conscious or unconscious here. See, look, yeah, Ace of Swords reverse with justice. There's something your person has been believing throughout their life here that they have considered to be fine, appropriate, balanced, it serves them, it makes sense, but actually spirits say no, that's not the truth. How they've been seeing things has not been just. It hasn't been fair. You know, your person deserves to wear the best dress or the best, you know, suit, whatever it is. Um if they get attention for it, that's fine. It's not even anything to do with them. It's other people um giving them attention. They don't have to hide away. They don't have to just be average or OK or reach for the OK thing. They can reach for what they truly want. So I think there's a message in here for some of you that if um, your person maybe chose something else at some point or even someone else, or you've seen them flirting with all of these 
people and you're thinking, but I'm, I'm offering so much more, I'm bringing so much more to the table. I feel we have a better connection and you're wondering why, why are they choosing everything but me? I think it's because um, actually you're the one they really want. This is the connection they really want, but they feel like maybe they don't deserve it. Now, of course, use your um your personal experience here because that i know how that sounds when i say it. it almost sounds like if you're being given the runaround i'm excusing that behavior so if you know your person's just messing around with you that's not what i'm talking about i'm talk you know i feel for some of you the third party could be this deep-seated belief that your person deserves second best all the time or that's what they just feel most comfortable with because they don't like the attention from having the thing that really is the best or the thing they really want. It could also be fear. If I manage to, to actually have the thing I really want, if it goes away, it's going to be so much worse than if I had something I didn't sort of care too much about in the first place. So maybe they've experienced or witnessed some kind of instability, um, emotional instability, most likely growing up. Um, and we have this Empress now, but reversed on the back. So. Um, Libra Taurus energy there. Yeah, look at that, the Hierophant. So more Taurus energy. There is something here coming through very strong. So whatever your person's third party is here, whether it's beliefs about money, beliefs about what's fair, what's just, connections with family or friends, I think it's all stemming from this core belief that they have lived with through their life here um, that was established early on. I'm noticing we have death on the back. So there is something about this that's transforming, changing. It could be that this belief is starting to become more conscious to your person. And that means now they have the opportunity to make a change. Um, there could be a Scorpio involved. I think this could even create a bit of a tower moment. It's quite a painful thing to realise here, you know, in ways in which you've almost done yourself an injustice through the years in all kinds of situations. Um, so there might have been, there might be, maybe even in this present moment, you might be noticing your person seems to be dealing with some heavy energy or they've retreated a bit. Um, it could be that they're trying to, yeah, look, Five of Pentacles, trying to figure out how do I... First of all, how do I make a change? How do I accept what I now realise I've been doing all along? Um, I've been hurting myself as well as other people. Um, I've been doing myself an injustice. See this, this sadness, this five of pentacles with this page of cups in the reverse. Some sort of a belief or something they witnessed, um, I do feel it started very young with the people around them, these primary caregivers, people they saw most often denying themselves. And I'm not talking about, you know, oh, these people weren't living to excess and being hedonistic and all of that. You know, people, um, simple things that, that they deserve. Let's say someone wants to eat organic food and they actually have the money to do so, but they don't because they think, well, that's not how I grew up. It seems excessive. I won't do it. I'll, I'll just get whatever you know fruit and veg and that doesn't seem like a big thing but all of if we keep applying that to every area it's it's showing people around us well maybe i don't value what i consider to be something that would be helpful and healthy and would make me happy um and there's also something here about what's right and wrong. I should, you know, um, spend money on this, but I shouldn't spend it on that. Or I should um, show up in this way, but not that way. Like I should be overly giving, self-sacrificing, but I shouldn't ask for that in return. I should be quiet. I should keep my thoughts, my opinions to myself, my, hide my truth. Um, but I should encourage others to be powerful and speak their truth. You know, there's... There's a real imbalance here that I think your person is now seeing, an imbalance in terms of just perception, perspective, that's influenced all of their decision making, all of their thoughts and feelings about many situations. And I think it's a painful realisation. It's good that they're realising this because now they can start to transform it, but it's like a core belief. It won't change overnight. Um, but I do think, you know, Hierophant, those established beliefs, traditions, with the two of wands in reverse, so they are walking down this new path. They are making these changes. I don't think it's easy. It might feel very unnatural to them for some time. 
So I think um, here, Spirit's getting to the core underlying reason of whatever this third party is for you. So if it's um, your person's addicted to work, it could be that they were shown that they're not worthy unless they're exhausting themselves with work all the time. Relaxation is a bad thing, or romance is a silly thing, or something like that. If the third party is um, a relative or a friend who you feel is interfering too much, it could be that, um, you know, your person has listened like a... A student listening to a sage you know throughout their entire lives so of this person believing everything this person said was was right and true and the best thing for them for everyone and and they never really considered maybe that's best for them and I respect that what's best for me you know that kind of thing um okay what else please anything else here let's have more of a look at this two of wands Yeah, Queen of Wands reversed. And I do feel this is your person having, um, you know, male or female, having diminished themselves. Um, they've been hiding their light under a bushel, you know, that, that sort of thing here. I don't think they've been reaching, trying to manifest, trying cr to create the things they really want for fear that it just wouldn't work or it would work and it would be taken away. Again, the Queen of Wands in the upright is a person who gets a lot of attention um, for many different reasons. They're very much appreciated. They appreciate others. This Queen of Wands energy is someone who understands that there's always a flow. The only time things stop or there's a blockage is if we sort of create that blockage um and your person has been living in this this place of, of this block um afraid to be seen afraid to give out all of this warmth and um attention because maybe they're thinking well i won't get it back or maybe i will get it back and that terrifies me i don't want to be seen in that way you know and i'm just seeing we have this empress reverse again as i'm shuffling okay what else please so two of one the burst I'm focusing on this because I think this is the, the most forward looking energy here. This is where we are, but this is where we're going. So I'm kind of trying to see how are things changing, transforming for your person and as a result for your connection here. Yeah, look at this. Age of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. This is big. This is huge. We have Sagittarius energy here, but your person is saying, OK, I, ha I feel like I have a huge mountain to climb. I don't even know what's on the other side, but I assume it's better than this because I've just got eight smashed glasses here. You know, let's say we're talking about thirst. They, they will never quench their thirst because they can't fill these up. You know, cups representing emotions. They're never going to be emotionally fulfilled. And as I said, they could have been choosing all of these other cups over your cup but um they didn't actually really want these the one they want's the other side of this mountain so i feel your connection has really um triggered your person into doing a lot of growth here very high vibrational but sometimes difficult stuff and we have the wheel of fortune so that blockage being removed the wheel turning moving forward the wheel of fortune can talk about karma coming in getting back what we're giving out so i think your person is asking themselves the things i thought were were balanced and appropriate are they do I want to change how I'm showing up? Do I like what I've been receiving? If not, what changes can I make? Okay, yeah, something to do with dreaming, uh, possibly romance here with the Knight of Cups, um, but just being in more of an optimistic, positive energy in which they're willing to go with the flow of the things they really want. That's, I feel, what they're heading towards here. So this is good. I feel your person is targeting the root of the problem versus, you know, like the, the branches and the leaves, which could be um, the people, situations, obsessions, addictions, those sorts of things. You know, you can trim those back. But if we don't change the core belief, they'll just come back or your person will develop other things. So it's really good to hear that they're focusing on, um, you know, the original sort of cause of this, I suppose. OK, so can you give us a message, please, Spirit? So what can you share with my viewer about this third party situation or about this person's um, unhealthy, unhelpful belief that they've been carrying? This is <laughs> this is exactly the message that we got um, in the first pile. So maybe many of you came from the first pile. Um, Should I read it again or just put a timestamp? I'll put a timestamp because if you've heard it, you don't want to hear it again. So <laughs> if you want to hear the um, the message, 
it comes with this card. I will have put that in the timestamps below. Um, but what can I remember of it? Um, it's about changing, changing, I think, assessing your beliefs being willing to accept divine inspiration. For me, in the previous pile as well, I read it as your person asking themselves, um, can I change? Am I willing to change? Can I accept myself if I change? Have I been judging myself? In which ways have I been limiting myself and telling myself I have to do this and I have to do that? And if I'm a good person, I won't do this, I won't do that, you know, those sorts of things. So, um, but if you want the full message, like I said, I've put the timestamp below. So, um, I think I'm going to leave this here. So I hope this has been helpful or, or, you know, shed a bit of light for you in some way um, on what's going on for your person, what, what's going on with this third party, why this third party situation is still, you know, still around, still existing if it's been some time and maybe your person has said they were going to make some changes. Um, so anyway, yes, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely weekend if you are watching this on Friday and hopefully I will see you again next week. Bye.